Today we're going to look at the iPhone XR from Music Magpie, which I bought in pristine condition. If you're looking for iPhone 8 videos or similar, there's lots of those on YouTube, so go have a look. So the box it comes with isn't the Apple box, it's a generic Music Magpie, and for all intents and purposes, it's fine. It is the only thing that protects your phone as it posts, so there are a few marks. But opening the box, the first thing you see is a voucher for the website, and it calls out their Trustpilot which might explain why they've got such a good score. But the phone itself, it's just taped in with a load of tape, and which seems to work quite well. It doesn't move when you shake it, so it does the job. It just doesn't look the nicest. But when you buy in second hand, you can't really complain. In the box itself, you get um, a SIM removal tool and a USB cable. So I've used this cable for charging and it's worked quite well, but I can't confirm if it works for data transfer as I've not got iTunes. But I would be a bit suspicious of it working. The phone itself, you just peel it, peel away the plastic, which is deceptively strong. And then out pops the phone. So when I did buy it, it was flat of battery completely. So bear that in mind. Uh, but I don't expect that to have any long term impact. So I bought Pristine which is the top of three, and as you can see, there's no scratches, there's no marks, um, it looks quite good. I'm not going to open the phone up, so I'm going to have to trust what it looks like on the outside, but to me, I'm quite happy with what I paid and how what it looks like. There are two other versions, so you can also get good and very good. Um, if I was to get buy again, I might attempt to slip down to very good, because it's going to go in a case eventually, so... If the price difference wasn't as small as when I bought, I'd definitely look at buying the second one down just to save a bit of money, really. So it is pristine. Its battery capacity is 94. So all in all, a good buy.